Okay, so today we're going to continue with factoring, and the first type of factoring is trinomials with your leading coefficient, which is the a greater than 1. So I just want to highlight in this box how we get the ax squared, and to get ax squared, you simply multiply the mx term times the nx term. To get the bx in the middle, the bx is equal to little smile, so p times nx, plus big smile, q times mx. And then last, to get the c, you simply multiply your p and q, so p times q. So in this problem, or example to the right, we have to factor 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Again, I just want to highlight, you always check for a GCF first. There is no greatest common factor, so as we talked about last class, you set up your two parentheses. Leading coefficient of 2. 2 is prime, so it's only going to be 2x times 1x, or just x. And then the last um, coefficient is a 3, so I need to put in the factors of 3, and 3 is also prime, so 1 and 3. So it's a matter of where they go. Don't forget with your sign, you have a positive product, and it combines to a positive, so it's both going to be plus. So the 7x, again, the middle term, I check with a little smile, big smile. If I put the 1 here and 3 here, do I get 7x? 1 times x, little smile, is 1x. Big smile, 2x times 3 is 6x, which gives me a sum of 7x, it checks. So the factors are 2x plus 1 times x plus 3. The next type of factoring is factoring completely. With factoring completely, you want to and you will have a greatest common factor. So if I factor out the greatest common factor, for 12x squared minus 27, that's 3. And when I factor that out, I get 4x squared minus 9. Now if it's two terms, we look for dots. If it's not, we look at our trinomial factoring. Since this is 2, and x squared is a perfect square, 4 is a perfect square, and 9 is a perfect square, and this is the difference, it's dots. So I set up my two parentheses. Don't forget to bring down the 3. So 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Opposite signs, 1 positive, 1 negative, and 3 times 3 is 9. Last, factoring by grouping. This is something that you haven't seen before, so let's follow these steps in order. So first step is to group them. That's why we call them factoring by grouping. You group the first two terms and the second two terms. Step number one. Step number two, factor out the GCF in the first binomial. So let's do that. We've got 2x is the GCF, actually 2x squared. And then we have 2x plus 1. Factor out the GCF next in our second binomial. If the variable in that term is negative, factor out the GCF with a negative. If no GCF, factor out a 1. So in this case, there is no GCF. I want to factor out the 1, and then I'm left with 2x plus 1 in parentheses. You should have these two binomials match anytime you're factoring by grouping. So now, here, step 4, the expressions in the parentheses are alike. Now the common binomial factors make one factor. So this is a common factor. So these are GCFs. So I pull that out front, and then I bring these two together in my second parenthesis. So 2x squared plus 1. That's the answer. And you can check yourself by multiplication, okay? Um, but again, you don't need to. On the back side, two factor. Number one, there's no GCF, so set up your parentheses. 5 is prime, so it's going to be 5x times x. Negative product, so signs are going to be different, and I want to use the factors of 3. Well, I want to put the 3 here and the 1 here to get 1x and 15x. Because with the opposite signs, if I subtract these two, I will get the 14. 
So I want positive 15 minus 1 to get the positive 14. So plus 15x, and that's connected here for the negative 1. In number 2, there is no GCF, so I set up my two sets of parentheses. Again, starting with factors of 3 and 3's prime makes it easy peasy. Now since I have y as a part of this trinomial as well, my terms in the parentheses, the binomials are going to have y's in them as well. And in looking at it, I have a negative product, so signs are different. But I want to use the factors of 10, which can be 1 and 10, 2 and 5. Again, I want to do that little smile, big smile, to get the negative 13xy. So I'm going to do um, 5 here to give me the 15xy, and 2 gives me 2xy, and if I subtract those, I do get the 13, and I want a negative 13, so it's going to be negative 15 plus, so minus 5 plus 2. In number 3, we have a GCF of x squared, so we want to factor that out first. x squared, divide everything by x squared, we get x squared plus 13x plus 30. I look at my parentheses, that's not a dots problem, but it is a trinomial problem. So I set up my two parentheses, x times x, factors of 30 that combine to 13 are 1, or I'm sorry, 10, times 3. Positive products, so the signs are the same, they combine to a positive 13, so they're both going to be plus. Next one. Ooh, no GCF, it is dots. One's a perfect square, and this is an even exponent, so I can go ahead and factor that. So x squared plus 1, x squared minus 1. This cannot be factored, the sum of two squares, but this can. So x squared minus 1 factors x plus 1 times x minus 1, but don't forget to bring down that factor that you had from the previous line to go with the final answer. Number 5 has the 4 terms, so that's factoring by grouping, so we go ahead and group. Same as 6, go ahead and group. Now GCF for the first binomial is 2x squared, they both are even, the lowest exponent is the 2. So in parentheses, we 2x squared times x to get the x cubed, minus 7. GCF for 3x and 21 is 3. Again, it said if, there's a if there was a negative sign, it said to bring that negative down. And then the GCF for 3 and 21 is 3. So divided by 3, I have x. Divided actually by the negative 3, we have x and then a negative 7 to get the positive 21. Here's the GCF, so bring that out front. x minus 7 and the two other terms, this one and this one, are put together for the second parenthesis. Number 6, GCF for 4x cubed minus 12x squared is 4x squared. In parentheses, when I divide that out, I have x minus 3. No GCF, but I do need to factor out the negative. And with the 1, dividing this by negative 1, we have our x, because treat that as a negative x, and then a minus 3. They match. So I bring that out front, and then put the 4x squared and the negative 1 together. This is dots. So that's 2x plus 1, 2x minus 1. Again, remembering to bring down that factor. Last two, go ahead and it's four terms, so we group. GCF is x squared, so we're left with x minus 3. Positive in front, so I bring down the positive, and I have the GCF of 3, and we're left with x minus 3. Here's now my GCF, it just looks different, it's a binomial. So I bring that out front, and here's x squared plus 3 for my second factor. Last one. This one's already started. It's in this line right here. So someone already grouped it, pulled out the greatest common factor. So now I'm going to pull out the greatest common factor as a binomial. And then I'm going to bring the other two together in the second parenthesis. This is dots. So I have x plus 6 
times x minus 6, and then I finish by bringing down the factor from the front.